going to do Picard's uniform red. I'm just going to use standard Citadel red. It's quite a nice red. Because I'm painting the red first, if it goes over the black, you can paint the black over it to fix it. But you can't do it the other way around, if that makes sense. Communicator. And do as a pair of tweezers or grips to hold this now, which typically I can find. uniform top which is sort of a, a greeny yellow um, so I'm gonna try and use a bit of green ochre and some Avalon sunset see what that looks like what this looks like it might not cover very well though yellow is horrible for coverage yeah Red. Of course I'll have to remember what colour I mixed for the other crew members. See how rough it is. Oh, it really looked so good before it had a prime in. Never mind. Definitely going to need another coat of this, which I won't bother showing because it's just going over the same bits. Trying to get it all covered. Picard's jumpsuit. Again, just in black. Hopefully, it'll go on a bit better than it did on James T. Let's have a look. Hmm, seems to be. Oh no, it's starting to. Away already. Oh well. Hmm, I should get black on his shoulder. Like a bit of 
my stuff I hold back. And what I'm going to do is, off camera, I'll give Kirk another coat. Obviously, that's not really interesting to see that. Um, I'll cover up that bit of black on Picard's shoulder that I just messed up. And then we're ready for some detailing work and finishing the figures off. Okay, let's let them dry, and we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so all I've done while the camera's been off is second coat to Kirk, tidied up Picard's splodgy shoulder. Um, I've base coated Picard's base in just black, and base coated Kirk's base in brown, and then just picked out a few rocks in grey, and I'm going to dry brush that, but let's get some detail into Kirk. Let's start doing his collar. It's going to be an interesting one. detail onto the other parts so we can do Picard's gold badge and I'm just using a bit of Tamiya. I only ever use the Tamiya's for the metallics. They're really good for that and not much good for anything else. Not a great fan of them. So what we're going to do is pick out Do the braid in black first, otherwise it's not going to show up too well. Black's always good for a base for doing metallics, so let's get some black. I should have three. No, two solid and one broken up, I think, is Captain. Unfortunately, this model's only got one braid on. I think it would look a bit strange just to have one painted and one moulded, so. Although this, this one has got it on, so. It's really strange the decisions they've made on this. I wonder if they've just used arms of someone else. I suppose you could mix and match the arms on these. Right, let's get some silver and gold on the communicator. So the cover stroke area that we got. For the tip of the phaser. And the mesh on top of the phaser. The yellow is coming off of his arm there. Touch that up when it's on. There we 
Maker. Really recommend double coating primer on these models. I washed them twice, primed them, it's still just peeling straight off. I'm not impressed with that. Right, let's uh, have a look. So let's do a bit of dry brushing to bring the detail out on Picard's uniform. Completely dry brush. And then just gently run that over it and that will start to bring up detail. You want to be as light as you can be. Do the same for Kirk's trousers. And we'll do his hair as well. Just brings out the detail a bit, flattens everything off a little bit. And I'm going to matte varnish them anyway. Look at that, I'm really not impressed with that. Normally I can handle these figures pretty well. Right, so what I'm going to do now is dry brush the planet surface and dry brush the metallic bit. I'm just going to use a bit of like that. That's grey. I got some gun metal somewhere. A bit of lead belcher. Nice dry brush. And all I'm doing is bringing up the detail. You can see that immediately makes it look more like deck plates. Brings up the detail nicely. Uh, for the planet, I'm just going to do some sort of light sand coloured tan colour for that. And I'm going to use some Tamiya sand. And that just brings up all the little details. Right, so I'm going to cut the figures off the stands, stick them on the base, stick the arm on, and then we'll come back to see what they look like. Right, so pretty much finished them, other than I'm just going to varnish them. So that's Picard, who I thought was the lesser detailed of the two, but I actually think he's come out a bit better. And then we've got Kirk. I do like the Kirk, but it was a bit of a pain to do because the detail is, I think the face is better, but the detail was a bit wishy-washy and in places went a bit f sort of fluffy. Uh, so all I'm going to do with them is give them a coat of varnish, matte varnish each. Oh, I touched up his um, braid. I forgot I'd not put that on. Um, but yeah, I think they're 
they're quite nice Star Trek figures. So that's the the two captains uh, of the Enterprise, which is your favourite. Um, and then we'll come back and perhaps next time we'll paint the two first officers. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.